chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2 and go to verse uh, 42. I'll get there myself. But uh, uh, the community life and uh, have you ever noticed a, of a, a company or so that's ever uh, when they have new employees they do some special things of, uh, to help new employees come together uh, maybe to learn about the business or learning what they're getting themselves into sometimes uh, somehow some way to connect the new employees uh, to the previous ones but to, to know Next about to, to uh, the, the values or maybe the culture or the expectation or of a company uh, they might do a little orientation have y'all ever mm -hmm. heard about a, uh, how jobs will do orientation uh, uh, to see what they what they need to do with employees or or <coughs> provides tools or, or, and skills that they need to be successful and uh, productive in the organization. Have y'all heard about, about mm -hmm. that? I know there's times that I've heard people uh, try a new company or, or so, and then they realize, well, how am I supposed to do this without the proper tools? Or, uh, <coughs> and, uh, uh, you know, it's hard for them to, to do their, their jobs. But if you go to Acts chapter 2, uh, verse 42, and they continue steadfastly in the apostle doctrine and fellowship and in taking of bread and in prayer. 43, and fear came upon every soul, and many wondered, and signs were done by the apostles. <clears throat> and all that believed were together and had all things common and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need and they continued daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Many churches uh, have this similar process uh, for helping new members uh, becoming part of the family of God. Uh, many have... <coughs> to help become, excuse me, help uh, them to become <coughs> fruitful members in the church in God's kingdom. There's many of times that there's uh, Bible studies. I know some churches they do like they break off, like men's have their own uh, Sunday school class or uh, uh, study. And then the ladies did the same or the youth will do it and, and the little kids will have uh, theirs. But as we see here, how it, it is so important. I know someone said, you know, when I moved into this this uh, community, um, she didn't know anybody, but uh, she said, you know, I'm going to go I'm gonna go to church. And and to, she said the best way that I could to uh, find new people to fellowship and new friends is I should go visit churches. And that's what she did. That she would come visit churches and, and started picking up people's names. Uh, and then when she would come to uh, in the mornings or in the evenings, uh, she started learning. See, that is with us as well uh, for a church. Uh, when we have new people to come and to visit or come uh, to want to learn about Christ, uh, that's an opportunity for us for us to help them don't feel nervous don't feel scared uh, have you ever been to a, a place that uh, you didn't know anyone and how did that make you feel were you were you shy uh, were you nervous uh, were you scared uh, when whenever you uh, 
went to a place that you, you didn't know anyone. Many times I tell people, I said, oh, it doesn't bother me because uh, if I don't know anybody, either they'll remember me or they'll forget me. So, uh, <laughs> you know, but, and then somehow, some way they tend to remember uh, with my personality. Uh, but it is, uh, it is, it's, it's our job to, and not just a church, but maybe a community mm -hmm. as well. When new people come in, uh, how can we uh, help them? How can we witness to them? How can we love them? Uh, even if it's just to go down and, uh, you know, introduce ourselves because now I've heard uh, from the community that, you know, uh, times are different than what it used to be. Used to be, you knew everybody from each house. And I remember hearing people say, oh, you know, the Smith lived over here or you know the grace or you know just the name the joneses lived over here and all of a sudden now you get new people come in oh we have no idea who they are you know it's, it's a new family uh but to, to get them plugged in to get them comfortable in a in a community uh even in our church is to, to go and uh, lend a hand you know introduce each other uh, that's why it's so important just like a, when a new employee uh, joins a um, a business or a company or so guess what they have classes they they do everything to, to make them feel welcome in the uh, company and that's how it is with us and I am so glad that we do that yeah. uh, and, I, and I hope and I pray and I want to encourage everyone to continue to do that like I said I brag about you guys uh, Especially when uh, I uh, go to these little uh, meetings that the uh, the Baptist Association will will have a meeting, and, and it's so funny uh, when I have my hand out and you know I haven't seen someone in a long time, and I say, "Oh my goodness, uh, you know you're just blowing up my Facebook page, uh, you know that the, your church is growing, you know." And I say, "Well, God's church is growing. I don't take no credit." Or they say, "What's going on in Roxton?" Because <laughs> You got people joining the church. What's going on? I said, it's not me. I'm telling you, it's not me. It's God's word. Uh, there's people out there that's hungry for it. That's uh, right. And as long as we preach it, people will, will come. But it is. It's, it's really neat uh, how that uh, people are seeing what's going on. And I want to continue uh, to do that, uh, to encourage. Like I said, I bragged about you guys. Uh, I said, oh, man, I said, it's just uh, it's the love. It's the love and God's light that's in here. And uh, many times I've heard of something different, you know, that, I, or maybe someone has visited uh, before in the past, but then they came back and they're like, wow, it's different. You know, what's going on? Or they see, wow, a lot of people in here. But then it's like, what, what can we do? Like, especially the little kids, you know, how can we get them plugged in? How? Can we continue to give them, uh, you know, the, the word of God? Uh, you know, what can they learn from us? <coughs> that they can take maybe to tell someone else. Uh, but <coughs> believers in the church in the Jerusalem were devoted uh, for four central uh, of the community life. And the instructions for the apostles <coughs> was the teaching of the leaders had received from Jesus. The instructions were to fellowship was the ongoing gathering of believers sharing life together. So fellowshipping with one another. Uh, you know, when we see each other, I know times that schedules conflict with one another, but it's, that's why it's so important to fellowship with one another. Uh, breaking the bread may have involved with sharing meals, uh, but likely including like the Lord's Supper. Uh, that's why it's so important, uh, I think, whenever we have fellowship, when we when we can eat with one another. It, it is really neat to see everybody sit down and eating with one another. And uh, in prayer, uh, we uh, I believe prayer is so important. Uh, especially when someone is sick or somebody's going through a, a rough time, that prayer can be, uh, excuse me, uh, that prayer could have 
been a part of public worship or together in their homes. So prayer is so important uh, that we, we must do continuously uh, in our uh, church, uh, in God's church. Uh, so when they said here in verse 42, as they continue steadfast in, in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, you know, in God's word, be, be solid as a rock on God's word and fellowship and in breaking of the bread and in prayer. They're so important uh, for us as a, a church body and also as a community because uh, there's many times I've heard people say, well, who's your neighbor? I don't know. They, they moved in. We don't know. Um or, you know, oh, I've heard of a family come in. And uh, do you know who they are? And the little kids, I, I don't know. Uh, so for us, that, uh, and I'm not saying that you should go by yourself, uh, but uh, as, as a church family, uh, if we, we can, reach out, you know, continue to spread God's word, no matter where we go and who we see. Prayer is so important. A very very important mm -hmm. just the small amount of time that somebody may be going through a, a rough time and you say let me pray for you uh, that's so uh, important and how it impacts people especially if they're in their homes or nursing homes and say hey can I pray for you uh, just for a, a short moment you know that really helps them and it helps you as well so continue that and uh, uh, but it's so important for our community and a community life, uh, not just here in Rockston, because uh, we branch out. Because guess what? Sometimes y'all go to Paris. Sometimes you go to Honey Grove, uh, Kilgore. Uh, so I mean, there's many times we, we go places. Uh, so it's not just here in Rockston, but no matter where we see and who we talk to, uh, these are some basic things, but yet they're important things. Be, be strong in God's word and fellowship and then in, in prayer. Uh, it's, it's so important for a community life. Let's pray.